Be seated. We're going to invite the children to come forward. Natasha will have our children's story this morning. And while they're doing that, they collect an offering for our worthy student. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong. They are weak. Jesus loves me, oh yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. morning boys and girls I can't hear you guys are you still sleeping yeah I'm tired too my name is Miss Natasha and this is my oldest son Josias say hi to Josias <laughs> I was asked to do a children's story today I was asked on Wednesday last minute so I go well I have a crazy life I'm going to have time. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I have a crazy life, and I go, how am I going to make time to get ready for children's story? And it's very interesting because I'm a substitute teacher. I'm the one they call when your teacher's sick. And last week I was um, reading to my third graders, and I thought, that would be great to do children's story. That was last week, and guess what? I got the text on Wednesday. <laughs> so I was like, okay, God, really? All right, so my children's story is, let's see, I said, okay, what, am I, what do I have going on in my life when it comes in regards to my children? So I am working on a vision board for my children. Josiah, can you tell us what a vision board is? Yeah. Um, a vision board is a collage of images and words representing a person's wishes or goals intended to serve as inspiration or motivation. Josiah, can you tell us what the Bible says about plans? Yeah, sure. Um, in Proverbs 16, 3, it says, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. So when I was asked to do a children's story, I said, what is the theme? And I was told that the theme was supposed to be walking with God. And I go, well, my vision board, of course, has to be in line with God when it comes to anything in my life. So um, for my vision board, I go, okay, what can I do to structure it? So I have a small book at home called Bible Promises. And you can also Google it as well. And in Bible Promises, it has things in categories. And also it has the, the scriptures for every category. So for my vision board for my three children, I have eternal life, forgiveness, Holy Spirit, money, finances, our needs, Bible Promises for healing, wisdom, guidance, children and family, peace, overcoming temptation, protection, fear, resurrection, and end suffering. So what I plan on doing with my vision boards is like my first vision, no, that's the first one will be my first, my first one will be Josiah, my oldest. The interesting thing about Josiah is that he's my oldest, he's 16, he's 11th grade. So what I'm going to have on my vision board is, you know, based on what I just said, but what visions does Josiah and God and myself can align? So I'll put those things on here. And what I plan on doing is putting these um, vision boards in my bedroom. Because as parents, we get very distracted and we get busy. So what I do is that I have these vision boards in my room. So they'll be the first thing I see when I get up and the last thing I see when I go to bed. So that would allow me to stay focused on, you know, the visions that I have for my children. The next one... Nazareth, my middle child. This child is new, unique. You're covering his name. <laughs> this child is new, unique because I have a 16-year-old and I have a one-year-old. The 16-year-old, I'm so focused on him going to college. And the one-year-old, I'm so focused on him not getting hurt. And the middle child, he's 11, going on 12, and he's self-sufficient, and he's in middle school. So he tends to be the one that we forget. Sorry, he's just a middle child. So, yeah, it's bad, but... 
So for Nazareth, I have to make sure I put him centered in my room. So, you know, I won't forget about Nazareth. <laughs> the third one is Levi. Levi is a very interesting fellow because Levi is one. I have a 16-year-old and I have a one-year-old. Thank God I have two other children that can help me with Levi. And you would think, Levi is only one. What visions or oh, what mind, mind milestones can I have for Levi? Well, Levi needs to be potty training soon, you know. Levi needs to be, you know, learning how to read or, and so on. So what I do, I put little things on here for um, goals for Levi, and I put it in my room. And this is an interesting activity, and you can ask your parents. It's very inexpensive. The expensive thing is time. Time is the most expensive thing when it comes to a vision board because you have to make time for it, and you have to be intentional about it. And this is something that if, you know, you can go Dollar Tree and buy a poster board and just put it in your room or ask your parents, you know, or you can just get a piece of paper, something small like this, you know, and you do your own vision board, you know. It doesn't have to be this big. Put your little ideas on this and then tape it in your room and look at it. And every morning, pray about it. It's very that simple. So my question for you guys is, if you had a vision board, and I only need three people, th I mean three children, to tell me what would you put on your vision board? Just one thing you would put on your vision board. Can I have three hands? Still thinking about it? Anybody? Okay, what would you put on a vision board, Aaron? A dog. A dog? Okay. Goals for your dog. Or goals to have a dog. Anybody else? A toy. Good, a toy. Anybody else want to put? Still thinking about it? Food. Oh, yeah, food and clothes. That's a great one. I love that one. So these are things that you put on your vision board. Okay? So who will, I would like two people to pray for us. One and two. Go ahead and close your eyes and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for this day. Protect everyone in church when we have this good day. I hope to have good care in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, have a beautiful day. Thank you for God. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys. Thank you.